Do you want to learn how to shrink screen motion video like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me. I'll show you how. Hey, welcome to VC Creator Secret Tutorials. Before we get started, if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I publish new tutorials every week. For more unique awesome videos like this, check the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello, welcome to another tips and tricks video in Fimoro on VCCS tutorials channel. Alright, in order to pull this off, we know it's not easy in Fimora 9 because in Fimora 9, there is no keyframing. But it is very easy to pull off in Fimora X because there's keyframing. But if you're still using Fimora 9, no problem. There's a video, there's a great video done by one of my mentors, Daniel Panther, and it's a great video. And if you're still using Fimora 9, I'm going to link it in the description below. You can go and watch that video and you'll be able to do the same thing, even though it's going to take some time, but it still, it still works. So without further ado, let's dive right right into it. Import your files to your media. I have some here which I'm gonna be using. Now let's drag down one of the video to the timeline. And in this video, we're gonna do this, something like this. So in order to pull that off, all we need to do is to copy and paste or let's duplicate the video. Now we have the same kind of video in two tracks on the timeline. They'll move the playhead forward a little bit. Double click on the video on the second track on the timeline. Then go to animation, click on customize, then add a keyframe. Then move the playhead forward five frame and double click on that video. Then go to the screen, grab the video, the top video from the right hand corner and drag it to the left hand corner or any corner you want it to be. And I split the video right there because we're gonna apply a border to our shrink screen slide it right there and double click on the second part and go to effect we're gonna look for border so type border drag and drop it on the second part of the video now by the time we play it we'll have something like this of apply border to our shrink screen. Move the playhead forward toward the end and add another keyframe. Then move it five frame forward and restore the scale and the position. We want to get rid of the border. We don't want the border. So what we need to do is to slide it right there on the last keyframe. Slide the video and double click on the second part and go to video under video effect to find border there make the opacity zero and also the size we will have this now let's preview it and see what we have so that's the simplest way of shrinking your screen motion it's as simple as that you can shrink the screen to any part any angle of the screen you want to in this second part of the video we're going to learn how to do this So let me show you how to do it. Now let's drag our video to the timeline. This time around, I'm gonna use one of my intros. You can use any other video you desire. Now that's our first video. Go back and drag and drop our second video on the second track on the timeline. Move the playhead forward and double click on the video. Go to animation, customize, and add a keyframe to our second video. 
move the playhead forward like five frames and go to the screen double click on the video go to the screen and grab it from the left hand corner to the right hand corner now don't move your playhead from there slide it right there on that keyframe because we're gonna add border to our shrink screen go to effects and search for border drag and drop it on the second part of the video and we will have something like this now we have added border to our shrink screen now move the playhead forward toward the end and double click on the video and let's go add another keyframe move it forward five frame and restore the scale and the position and slide it right on the last keyframe and double click on the remaining part of the video and go to video under video and go to to the border make the opacity zero and the size or scale zero and we'll have something like this So let's adjust the, the first video, our background video, and get rid of any part we don't need. Now we can preview it and see what we have. Alright, let's go to the last part in this video and in this last part I'm going to show you how to do this. Move the playhead forward and double click on the video. Go to animation, customize and add a keyframe. Move it forward 5 frames and double click on the video and go to the screen. Grab the video from the left hand corner and drag it to the lower right hand corner to the size you desire. Then slide the video right on the last keyframe and go to effect, search for border, drag and drop border on the second part of the video. Cut out any part we don't need and delete it. And let's preview it and see what we have. This brings us to the end of the video. Now, in this last one, you can use it when you're teaching a tutorial. When you're having a tutorial, you can use it. You can have your face down there somewhere while you're explaining and teaching what you're teaching. These are simple ways to apply shrink screen motion to your video. If you find it valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more awesome and unique videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. And don't forget to leave a comment below, I love it. Be sure to watch the videos on the screen that we have picked for you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.